to wake up and think, oh, I'm bored or anything. I've never been bored one day in my life. I don't really live in the past. I really live in today. And I think that's one reason uh, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just, just here. The glitz and glam of Las Vegas attracted those seeking fame and fortune. While many of us have heard the names Jack and Trotter, the Rat Pack, and Elvis, wouldn't it be nice to hear firsthand what these people were like? Well, here's an exclusive interview with model and actress Corinne Cole, who used to hang out with some of these famous names. All right, Corinne, thank you for being here today and taking time out of your day. I know. It's yeah, hard. it takes time. <laughs> When you're as old as I am, it takes longer than it takes time, yeah. And you've lived such a fabulous life, from fashion to hanging out with very wealthy men and being around the Sands Hotel and seeing Frank Sinatra and all the names we hear about today. Pe pe people don't understand. I came from a wealthy family. Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby used to entertain at our house because my father was running for uh, Attorney General. He was Deputy Attorney General of the State of California for nine years. And when he was running for Attorney General, the Democrats came and entertained and I would dance in the living room with my sister and ballet and everything. And uh, I didn't even know if I want to be an actress because I had done 29 magazine covers. I had been on the cover of Playboy, which was very unusual for somebody who was not a star. But I did that because uh, in my world, Reader's Digest was the biggest selling paper. So, uh, because my mother had been an actress. My mother was a very famous Zigfield showgirl. She came out with uh, Eddie Cantor and was put under contract to Paramount. During my interview with Corinne, she talked about how honored she was to have such amazing parents. Her father, Carl Keegley, became a very prominent criminal defense trial attorney. Her mother, Alice Polk, was a former Zigfield girl who really taught her what it was like to be a strong, independent woman. You know, it was a different era, a different time, and I'm so glad I was born in that era. It was, it was magic time, and I knew it. In the town was a two-lane street, the strip, and people would just park their cars and leave them. The Sands was only 250 feet uh, room. After Frank Sinatra did his first show, he also had other spectacular entertainers come out to the Sands Hotel. Can you tell me a little bit about who else performed there? He only wanted to do one show a night, and. Uh, actually, that's how the Rat Pack got invented. He told Jack, he said, I'm only doing one show a night. Jack said, oh, okay. What am I gonna do with the people who come to see two shows, Frank? He says, I don't know, Jack, that's your problem. And he said, uh, he said, you're gonna do the first show, Frank. And then I'm gonna get Sammy or Dean or Red Skelton. Somebody will come in and they'll do the second show for you. Is that all right? Frank says, great. Would you welcome Mr. Sammy Davis, Jr. When Frank saw Sammy and Dean up there at the second show, he had to get on stage. And he did. And that's how the Rat Pack started. Corinne was married to two cultural icons, Jack and Trotter, who was president of the Sands Hotel at the time, and movie director George Sidney, who directed the Elvis Presley film, Viva Las Vegas. The beautiful American bombshell appeared in 29 national magazines in one of her years during college. She also was Playboy's May of 1958 cover girl. And here's a look back at her interview with Groucho Marx, one of the funniest comedians in You Bet Your Life. Musical or dancer or what? Um, Miss Boom Boom for Mark C. Boom. You miss, you miss Boom Boom? Mm-hmm. I'm afraid of the next question, but, uh, Somebody's got to ask it. Now then, what is a Boom Boom girl? Well, 
uh, I beat the drum and sell tires, and the drum goes boom boom, and that's why I'm boom boom. <laughs> Could you give us that commercial? Could I? Now fire away, boom boom. Good evening, friends. I'm Mary Lane, your boom boom girl, and I'm beating the drums for... <laughs> <laughs> that was the sponsor's name. And, uh, the sponsor's name is Boom Boom? <laughs> the Rat Pack, Elvis, Frank Sinatra, they all knew oh, your Al name. Elvis asked me out. So Elvis asked you out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was in the Beverly Hills Hotel, uh, Beverly Wilshire Hotel, where they did Pretty Woman, right yes. in that lobby. And I'm walking, I just had uh, breakfast, and I was on my way to William Morris' office. And I'm walking through the lobby, just like the movie. And he, this guy comes up behind me. Would you go out with me? I'm Elvis. And I looked at him and I said, what for? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I, I, guess, I, I guess so. And walked away like a, a hound dog. <laughs> he would say, how could you do that? Well, that was me. I got a, I got a lot of things to do. <laughs> well, you're just as beautiful as when I was reading the articles. Oh, about well, you. you're very kind. And buy Richard Zoplin's book, please. It's all about me <laughs> <laughs> and Elvis. And the, yeah, you want to know about the Rat Pack? Seriously, this is the, this is at the library. They have about twelve copies at uh, the Flamingo Library, and he's a great writer and a, a terrific friend. And let's see, what else do we have there? You want to show oh, Glamour yeah. Girls? Yeah, the Glamour Girls. Of the 60s, you can buy it on Amazon. See, I'm not getting a nickel out of this quarter, folks, but if you want to know about me, that's what they say. My son can tell you horror stories, <laughs> so, as every family can. Well, thank okay. you, you're wonderful. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much, appreciate it. Corinne Sidney lived a privileged life, a life destined for greatness. I'm Samantha, you can call me Sam with Spirit of Nevada brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm.